Hang on, before we go any further, because I can see it floating in chat, I got something special to share with you. Uh, someone posted this on the subreddit the other day. Hang on, let me... Oh, where is it? I had this. Okay. Thank you to YX Darkness for making this. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. <laughs> Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. <laughs> Treatise. Manifesto. Amazing beat. Amazing work. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Yeah, so thank you. That was a, that was a top tier shit post on the subreddit. I just had to share that. And I saw people spamming it in chat, so... <laughs> it's actually great. <laughs> yes, thank you to uh, Darkness for making that on the subreddit. Uh, that is wonderful. Uh, to everyone else here, how's it going? You're all very welcome to the stream. Uh, can you hear me okay? We'll do a sound check proper when we get into the game. Uh, I know that we missed some Stanley Parable endings the other day. And I've just had the game on the brain. I was originally going to just play all of the rest of it off stream. But I thought, you know what? Let's just do more of it. Uh, like with the bucket, I think we, like we've got like new endings aplenty pretty much everywhere in the game, and I thought it just might be good fun to experience. Uh, I really recommend this game. I really do love it. Uh, it is actually quite funny and very clever. It is, uh, one of the best, like, postmodern experiences for a video game, like, that's just out there. Um... I remember back in uni, like, we had to study the I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream game simply because that's, like, postmodern text and a game based on it. Um, but you kind of study it just because it, it, it's a game for the sake of it. Whereas this is actually clever and this actually does genuinely cool shit. So, uh, I, I'm a nerd for this kind of stuff. I do love it. Should I watch this before I haven't played the original game? Um... This game is like a reimagine of the original. You can still experience it. It's basically adding more layers. Uh, you should be okay. What I would recommend, um, if you haven't seen it already, is maybe give the highlights of the last Stanley Parable stream a look. Because we did a lot of uh, endings there. We covered a lot of ground. And there's potentially spoilers for how the game is structured. We're going to be picking up from where we left off last time. Um, so you've been fully warned. Uh, and we're just gonna, we're gonna dive on into it, and we're gonna see how much we can experience. Will we ever play Genshin Impact? Asking the real questions here. You know, shout out to my, uh, adventure rank, uh, 23 I've got now. I got lucky with my pulls, and I got the five-star characters that are Jean and Mona. Um, <laughs> people are panicking. You, you don't even need to understand what that means, and people will be like, Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> and there's other people who get it, or are like, What the fuck, Daniel? <laughs> oh, God. Uns <laughs> Look, I'm having fun in my off time, right? I've been playing it, like, a week. We'll check back later. He's turning. <laughs> I can just mention it, it scares the shit out of you, this is great. Soul, thank you for the five gift subs. Royal Tulip, and thank you for the thousand bits. Thank you very much. Uh, the Broom Closet ended is my favorite, RT. <laughs> Mine too. Uh, so, fun little fact. But fun little tidbit. The moment I started up the game, it's asking for the time again. So I haven't gotten further than this. I, I didn't want to boot it up again, because I want to make sure that we do this on stream. Uh, currently, it is five past seven. Ah, five past seven, your favorite time of day. Or could you simply not resist giving me the correct time again? After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. Okay, now I'm curious how accurate five past seven is. Let's use another slider to find out. How accurate is 5 past 7? Uh, as of right now, it's pretty accurate. It's not 6 past 7 yet. I think we're pretty good. 
You know, can I just say, regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. <laughs> I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you like things to be set. It's good to collect data. It's like, please, can you respond to this capture so we can save this? I wish we had more sliders, but we've gone through all the sliders I have. Perhaps I can invent some new sliders to gather new da data on you. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let me whip up a cup. Uh, let me whip a couple new ones up. Should be ready by the next time you boot up the game. Okay, so remind me at some point while we're playing to deliberately restart the game. Um, because it seems that every time we turn it on, this is actually having an effect on it, which is kind of wild. So rem just re yell at me in like two hours from now. It's like turn off the game, close the game. Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> no, not right now. Close the game. Not right now. Okay, let's just make sure our bumpscosity is set. Uh, do we feel like going 1,000 or 100 today? What happens if we just go one bumpscosity? Play a, play a channel. A single bumpscosity. One bump. Let's try that. Begin the game. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. I've had this before, I just don't know if it's different. Desk telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And some Stanley such low bumpscosity. And you know how the meme went back of mind is uh, going about with like no maidens, would no bumpscosity, something he would never <laughs> quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. You no disgust me. Give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh, achievement unlocked. Welcome back. I got one for that. Let me just see. Quit the game, then start it again. We got a new achievement. Can I just close the door? But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. <laughs> what if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. Oh no. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. The door is locked. Will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Okay, I, I I think that was an ending. That's just reset the game again. Uh, audio check for the narrator. Is the narrator okay or do I need to bump him up a little bit? We want to just get that right. Bump it up a little, okay. 
Mostly good, but I'll bump it up a little. Okay. I gave him three decibels. A little bit more bumpscosity. Gorman, thank you for a thousand bits. I'm like 90% convinced half this game is a fuck you to The Last of Us 2. <laughs> That's uh, oddly specific and targeted. Oh, I have something else I need to share as well. Hang on. Um, important bit of content and update from the Stanley Parable Twitter. Hang on. There is a secret bit of cut content that apparently we're not going to be able to find in-game, but it's important that I share this now. Hang on. <laughs> he, he, he turned himself... He, <laughs> he, he turned himself into a pickle, Stanley. A pickle? <laughs> <laughs> it was, without a doubt, the funniest shit I've ever seen. Incredible. <laughs> Some of the best marketed for a game I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it's important we share that. Like, seriously. Like, give this game your support. Like, they're actually, they're so funny. I love them. The devs have, like, knocked it out of the park with this game. No. <laughs> oh, this workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Uh, there was no something how here hard Stanley looked, that people were telling me about trace before. Of his co-workers. Who farted the mug? I think there's a way to get on... Here? Yeah. So you can climb the desk, and from the desk, you can fall out the window. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? This is quite clever. Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Um... No, yeah, I'm quite enjoying it. I could, ah, get, then in that could case, get some we'll more continue. mileage out of it. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now, think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Yes, I should. Clearly, this whole gag takes I some should. time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? I mean, that's oh, why we're that's here. Rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Oh. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here Continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Um. What if, what if there's something that happens if we sit here forever? Can you walk away? I don't think so. It, there's like a narrow box. <laughs> I don't think anything happens if you sit here forever. That's a real shame. We should have upped the bump scarcity. We could have prevented this. Okay, let's check the other option. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? 
Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his... At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. I need to see what he says. For its insightful and then I need to bring the bucket and see what he says. Into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? I love it here. Why That's why I've come here twice. Just to drink it all in. Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Uh, Gorman and Sav, thank you for the thousand bits each. Thank you very much, guys. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. <laughs> any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. <laughs> what does he have a song? <laughs> there once was a man named Stanley who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. Oh no. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way, but his brain had long ceased to function. Which is why he is in this parable and lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong, and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yes. <laughs> you too will become quite unbearable. That was wonderful, thank you. Thoroughly enjoyed it. That was worth the second trip. Stanley turned into a pickle. <laughs> Is he just gonna play a while now? Is there anything else? It's a lovely voice, he does. Okay, I, I think we might be trapped in limbo though, unless we reset it. Spend the rest of the stream staying here. <laughs> There's not much happening on his channel today. Like the screen's just kind of white. It looks like there's some kind of trap door in the in the distance, but he can't walk towards it. Well, let's begin it again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Okay. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. I need the Perhaps bucket. He had... Ah, the embrace of an old friend. A weathered companionship that stands... Stanley clung the bucket to his cheek. Could his co-workers really all be gone? Come on. Take the bucket with us out here. See what it does. Third time's the charm. <laughs> yes. Whispered the bucket into Stanley's ear. We've done it. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. At last, out here in the white void, we are alone. Now, and for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. The bucket began to tell Stanley of its life and its history, of the countless wars it witnessed, oh, no. desecrating the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent <laughs> humans, and the bucket's own complicity therein, of sadness and regret and the many years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay, if only it had been stronger. Of hope and redemption, and its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man, to manifest justice where none existed, and the bittersweet reality of time, to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway, meted out in parcels like charity, and abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to dim. The opportunities to oh, do no. so much more 
There was so much it could have done, perhaps, the bucket wondered to itself, perhaps if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. This was way too much for Stanley. <laughs> you don't what are say? you talking about? He screamed. You're a bucket! To this, the bucket furrowed its brow. No, said the bucket. Not since the evil wizard Gambhorata first ensnared me in his machinations. Well, we've heard that name before. The secret that I stole from his treasured vaults. I was young back then and could not conceive the ramifications of. No! Stanley screamed even <laughs> louder this time. This is stupid! You are a bucket! This is so stupid! Why are we even doing this? It's becoming God! As Stanley screamed and screamed and screamed, the bucket revealed its true form, transforming into a mighty beast of untold power, its fangs glistening like... Oh! My God, Stanley, <laughs> you did it! You saved us from the bucket. Thank God you already had all 12 <laughs> emblems of sages and knew the incantations to summon their true power. Otherwise, we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's <laughs> power. Happened. I'm speechless. You've demonstrated such bravery here today. Come, let's restart the game and we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket, nor the dark magic <laughs> cast is it away pleaded? inside of it. Okay, that's not the end that I expected, I'll be honest. Well, I'm quite feeling the lack of bump scarcity. Oh, here. no. Only a single bump scot hit. Still, it'll have to do. A bump scosset. That's... Okay, so that's just, that's what you call one of them. All right, here, we'll turn it up a bit. 12 bump scarcity. We need more... We need more than just one bump scosset. Okay, uh, we have to work out what endings we've yet to do. Uh, there are endings we have to do both with and without the bucket. The bucket seems to just be like a modifier for the existing endings in the game, as far as I understand it. So that you have to do every standard ending, and then you do every standard ending but have the bucket, and it changes it somehow. Um... So, what do we feel like doing first? I think we'll take the bucket. The bucket made Stanley want to be a better man and a better I think we'll take the bucket for now. In time, perhaps, he would become both of those things. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Okay, uh, there are a few endings that way that I don't think we've done. We've done a lot of paths on the right. Uh, there is stuff with... We, we got the phone ending with the bucket before, didn't we? We did the vent ending. We did the one where you walk on the walkway, and then you go that way, a bit with the bucket, and then you have the, is this a bucket quiz. Um, yeah, I, I think there's more paths this way with the bucket that we haven't done. That are worth considering. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than the ever. The broom closet's Perhaps open again. His boss's office was where he... Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet, simply because I have no remaining stickers. If I did, you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. But alas, no stickers. I don't think he has anything to say if you have the bucket, though. Yeah, because he, he gave us the stickers before. Okay. Okay. That's unfortunate. He's nothing new for us there. Um, coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket. Did we go? We went downstairs with the bucket before, didn't we? I think we went downstairs. So we've done that both ways. Anything on here? Was there anything with this elevator? Or panda. No, I think this is just the narrator singing. This doesn't really do anything. Through the Konami code. I've only got up or down. I don't think I'm going to be able to input it. <laughs>
Stepping into his manager's office, okay. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Uh, by the, the code was two, Stanley eight, may have broken down into four, an emotional five. dumpster fire, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Okay, did we do the elevator ending with the bucket? We had one part where we had to go up or down a lot on the lift. No, we didn't. Okay, so let's start doing that. So we gotta ride the lift up and down just holding the bucket this time. And we'll see if that triggers something. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Okay, back up we go. Wait, Stanley said to the bucket. Can we go back up? <laughs> when I was pressing those keypad buttons, there was something very intriguing about the number three. Oh. I want to go back so I can try pressing the number three again. Okay. The bucket said nothing. All right, let's give that a go. That's definitely new. Here we are, said Stanley. Now I'm going to try out that number three button. He took the bucket over to the keypad and began absolutely slamming on the number three over and over and over. Well, he said, the number three is such a special button, I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> Stanley looked expectantly at the bucket, but the bucket remained silent. This was a shock to Stanley, who had always felt such a connection with the bucket. How was this not as exciting to the bucket as it was to him? Once Stanley had had enough of the number three, he got back in the elevator. I haven't had enough yet. We need a few more threes. It's not gonna do, it's, I don't think it's gonna do anything. Okay. Let's ride it back down. Like, hang on a minute. Number four, I'm getting a good feeling. Perhaps the bucket had missed something. Perhaps it had not seen how much joy Stanley got from slamming the number three repeatedly. Back up we go. No, 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 said Stanley to the bucket. You can't go on yet. Not till you understand how much the number three means to me. You and I have been through so much together, and I just want you to see what I see. Feel the happiness I feel. He smiled at the bucket, and the bucket said nothing. The bucket's not impressed right now. He just doesn't get it. Number three, whenever like like we say it here, hilarious. We have an emote of that. There's a reason. Here we go, said Stanley. This time I'll really show you. He ran to the number three and began to wail on it like a musician on a beloved instrument, weaving a concerto of truth and passion. He wielded the number three like a fine artist would wield a paintbrush. He told stories through the number three, stories of his dreams and hopes and fears, and the whole time. He looked to his bucket for a reaction of some kind. Anything to let him know that the bucket appreciated what he was doing. The bucket conveyed absolutely nothing at all. Oh, no. <laughs> Only silence. Crushed by a wave of dejection, Stanley returned to the elevator. The sad time. He's not impressed. It's okay, though. We can go back down and up again. We'll win him over yet. Stanley and the bucket were so close, they'd always been there for one another. Why suddenly could the bucket not connect with this passion of Stanley's? The question caused Stanley to ruminate the whole way down the elevator. He knew that there must be a way to get through to the bucket, to communicate fully with his dear friend. Surely there was a solution, mustn't there be? We should press the number three again. <laughs> Let's go up again.
Oh, he didn't even say anything that time. <laughs> said Stanley. I know what to do. I know how to fully express this feeling in my heart. He decided right then and there that he would hold a press conference where he would speak to the public on all matters relating to pressing the number three over and over. Oh. He would elaborate fully on what the number three meant to him and why he felt so alive when pressing it. Then the bucket would be able to see his joy through the eyes of others. It would get to see the world react to this discovery of Stanley's. And it would be through the public eye that the bucket would finally understand Stanley's work. Okay, so this is like a modified For version months, of this. He advertised ending. and marketed his press conference, building excitement around it, developing and rehearsing it until it couldn't be refined a single measure further. When the big day arrived, Stanley was as prepared as he'd ever been for anything in his life. Okay, come on, Stanley. To the stage. <laughs> oh, he's gone this mad. One last chance to win the bucket over. One opportunity to share a true connection three again, with Three one. again, the Stanley story. <laughs> Oh, he's lost it. There was no one here. Oh, no. Nobody had come to the press conference to hear Stanley speak, to listen to him talk about what it really means to press the number three on a keypad over and over. Oh. He was unloved, uninteresting. He was a failure. And in that moment, Stanley knew that the bucket would never again take him seriously. Oh. There would be no connection, no deeper <laughs> understanding. The bucket merely sat there in his arms, indifferent. And so it began that slowly, over many years, the two of them grew more and more distant. They spoke less and less, neither wishing to state the obvious that any sense of real respect between them had eroded since that day at the press conference. There would be no more games, no more long conversations about passion and pursuit, only a silence that consumed the space between friends. Oh no. And he had Stanley, the divorce ended. Having for once in his life discovered the warmth and comfort of true companionship, was cast back into the unremarkable normalcy of loneliness. I don't feel very accomplished with this ending. This is pretty grim. I feel like that's a bad ending. What is the phone ringing? Hang on. Hi, Stanley. I uh, just wanted to leave you a message to let you know there's a few things I need you to pick up on your way home from work today. We need milk, cereal, dish soap, spaghetti, get a thing of sugar, some bread, and coffee beans, whichever ones you like. I'll give you a call if there's anything I forgot. Thanks, sweetie. I forget that Stanley has a wife. That is part of the canon, isn't it? I assume that's who that is. Okay. Uh, Not everyone take is so the lucky to have a bucket, but Stanley is a very lucky fellow. Very lucky indeed. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. We're gonna go left again. We're gonna go a little bit further with the bucket this way. Let's uh, iron out the paths on the left first, and then we'll go to the paths on the right. No it's easier here. to keep track of that way. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was coming to a staircase. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Okay, we gotta go back in here. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human Three. <laughs> Crushed, the bucket did not react. Except, except perhaps a tiny glow of warmth. Subtle, yes, but an unmistakable spark from somewhere deep within. So that, that just references the other end and press it again. Does it do anything? I 
Are we gonna be able to rekindle our love with the bucket? I don't think so, no. Uh, there was one achievement that I meant to check. Stanley just sat around oh. twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Three. <laughs> Is he gonna get frustrated? Two, eight, four, five. <laughs> please, please advance the story, Stanley. Uh, there was one achievement that's just called eight. Eight. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency there override we go. kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself. We got an achievement and for that. And got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. Keep pressing three. Oh, it's hard to see. It's a <laughs> No, he only says it once. Okay. <laughs> That's an achievement for some reason. So he does get sick of you if you just wait too long there. Okay, down this way. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. So we haven't done this one with the bucket, so let's go this way. This was like the Although museum. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. If it's the two of us together, it might be different. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the Bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. Let's go. It's gonna be alright. It's very dark. Yeah, this, this is where we were before. So is the bucket being crushed gonna trigger anything? Bucket gonna save us. Motion, and Stanley and the bucket inch closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket, but what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself. And he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Oh. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end as it was crushed violently <laughs> Not to death. the bucket. It's okay, he's still with us. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. <laughs> the bucket welcomes you to the grand exhibit. You are standing at the precipice of knowledge. Much like a bucket itself, the human mind is frequently empty within. A cavernous void, but through use of the exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and enriched and substantiated. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only knowledge we really have. Will you take what you what you learn here out with you into the world? Will you accept with an open mind what may be challenging about the information in this exhibit? Will you change the lives of yourself and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live as you were, in ignorance and darkness? Yeah, we lost the bucket when we walked in here. It's gone now. Oh no. 
Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take the a bucket a like bit. this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? 25 buckets. A photograph of 25 buckets. The greatest number of buckets ever captured on camera. The photographer experienced a cat catatonic shock for several weeks as a result of the euphoria from exposure to this many buckets at once. <laughs> Oh no. A bucket with two <laughs> handles. This bucket is depicted as having two handles. Such a design has never been created in real life, having been deemed too dangerous and recklessly experimental. Every year, dozens are put to death just for attempting it. My god, Da Vinci. You went too far this time. The Inferno bucket. Replica of the Inferno bucket, which is in the medieval era, was so powerful, powerfully alluring that it drove dozens of nations to war with one another for control of it. Billions died, and yet in spite of it all, the simple fact remains. No one can control a bucket. <laughs> what happened to the museum? The stress bucket. Present it without commentary. <laughs> Worried, negative forecasted, negative thinking, lack of reassurance. Cope and strategy. Equals holes. Rest and relaxation do it something you enjoy. Stress, the level of water in the bucket. Vulnerability is the size and strength of the bucket. <laughs> there was an actual bucket war, although much less deadly. What was the bucket war? Actually real. Search of oversimplified. Oh, okay. Italians! <laughs> I like that just so vague explanation. Ah, something in Italy. <laughs> Medieval Italy got wild. Italians and upset. <laughs> okay, I I have to I have to look that up later. Here's a cave drawn with a bucket. While we know that buckets predate the existence of mankind, we do not know by how long. This cave drawn depicts early man's discovery of the practical uses of the bucket, by which time the bucket had already likely been around for several millennia. Notice in these drawings how the bucket is allowing itself to be used, having judged humanity to be worthy of its treasures. It's like chanting. <laughs> There's nothing in there. Gambarata, oh yeah, Time Dracula. Is that like is Gambarata like Time Dracula? Have we like is those are those are one and the same, aren't they? I'm trying to understand how the bucket fits into the Time Dracula plotline of Morbius. No man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. A hanging bucket. This piece symbolizes the necessary relationship between the bucket and humanity. However clear our grasp of the bucket may be, there is yet more that is always out of reach. This distance inevitably is for our own good. Oh! I can take it! But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful <laughs> oh, bucket. No. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die the together. The bucket's gonna die the bucket too. Should take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. For the bucket died too. Oh. Well, it's gone. <laughs> Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. Was it? it it's always been this brightly lit, has it not? Is it a bit brighter than before? 
can't tell. It takes a lot of humility to carry a bucket so magnificent. Need the bucket. Stanley checked his ego and then proceeded onward. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on okay. his left. So this guy, this guy, there was a different option with like the mind control machine. Still, no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort. Now I think we can go to that. Perhaps his boss's office was coming to a staircase. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs Let's just to the run. boss's office. Press A to get on this. his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional Eight. dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence <laughs> of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, three again. did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the We're keypad becoming closer was with the bucket now. Four, five. Okay, let's input it here. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Okay, down here, mind control facility. Do the keypad in re reverse. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. There's no indication. At least for the for the eight one, there was like an achievement that said that you hey you should probably try this. We're only missing five achievements now. One is complete the Stanley Parable. One's test achievement description replaced this. Uh, we still have to play the Stanley Parable for the entire duration of a Tuesday. It is Tuesday now, but I think that means from midnight. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait till next week now to attempt that achievement. Uh, there is the speed run, which is to complete it in under uh, four, 4 minutes 22 seconds. Uh, and then the last one is don't play the game for 10 years. So we'll have to check back in 2032 for that one. I'll be 37 years Stanley old. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read... But we'll get it. ...mind control facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? We got hold? the one for falling Stanley down here. Stanley and the bucket both with the bucket. To themselves. We didn't fall down here without the bucket. There might be something different if it's just Stanley that falls. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring us okay, that bucket. everything would be fine. Change the date in your computer. I'm not cheating for an achievement in the Stanley Parable. You gotta earn it. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence you can't as well? Cheat the game Had yourself. the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things Nothing does gained. the bucket want to do Nothing or learned. not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. I just press this again. Yeah. Is there anything else I can do? No! No, he I'm being whisked away. Bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Jump over the rail. I don't think I can here. It's a bit dark. But here was the proof. It's okay, we can the come back here. Of the we have to get this one. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy. Or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, I don't know how to get Stanley that decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. 
for he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends five. standing in the bucket up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way, <laughs> and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Turn on the power. Um, yeah, I think I have to turn it on first, because it's just dark here, isn't it? That's the engine we need. Okay. So we turned it off before with the bucket and tried to escape, but then got locked inside. So let's turn it on this time and see what happens. When at last they came to the source of the room's power, Stanley and the Bucket knew it was their obligation to put an end to this horrible place. But at the last yeah. second, the Bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. Stanley gasped in horror. Had this been the Bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the Bucket have betrayed him like this? Stanley was prepared to throw the Bucket away in disgust, when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Uh. Birds. Silly. <laughs> silly birds. The control buttons became active again. There's birds. Oh, you can change the type of bird. Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another. And Penguins! Then on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. Look at that it was call. a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. Of course. <laughs> the mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. Look at them. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the Bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place. Yeah, that's the best ending. through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. <gasps> of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. Absolutely. And Stanley was happy. Best ending. Look at them all. This is the best ending by far. <laughs> I kind of want to go get that one again. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself, that's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. Okay, on the left side then, I think the only one we're missing, I have to turn on the mind control machine without the bucket. And I have to turn it off without the bucket as well. I think those are the main two on the left, and then we're done that part. When Stanley came to a set of two, and I also, yeah, I also need to fall off the, the platform. Uh, so there's like at least three more endings this way that we have to do. So let's keep going Yet left. There was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his b Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, Stepping into his manager's in here. office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single <laughs> minute to just let the narrator talk. He's gonna that berate us a moment, but that's okay. Isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Come on, Mr. Narrator, we've been here so many times. I have to do this three more times. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. I hope you guys are excited to hear more common New Age music, because we're going to get a, little, a bit more. Okay. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Yep, so we have, to do, we have to do both ways here. I also have to fall off. Can I just fall off? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. 
What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought Try to himself. Try and jump. Did he have the strength to find out? There we go. Aha! You've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Welcome! You see, back when the Stanley Parable first launched in 2013, getting to the bottom of the mind control facility was a bug that we simply didn't catch during development. <laughs> And you all sent us lots of photos of it on Twitter and acted very superior about it. And you're all very, very clever. Good for you. Anyway, when it came time to update the game, we knew that we had to do something about this little goof of ours. So here you go. New content. You can call it the bottom of the mind control room ending. If that enhances your perception of the value of these updates, isn't that what you crave? New content. Yes, absolutely. Always more content, more content, more, 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 more. And I'm here to give it to you. I'm here to make it seem like we really covered every nook and cranny of the game with secrets and Easter eggs. How about this? We wrote a new piece of music just for this section. You won't hear it anywhere <laughs> else in the game. It's a secret that's just for you. That's how special you are. We call this track... Good job, you've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Well done. <laughs> Good job, you did it. Good job. Three, two, one. Good job, you made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. <laughs> Jumped on the catwalk. You should have been careful, you should have been careful. It used to be a bug, but now it's an ending, now it's an ending. And I believe in you, I believe in your ability to cross this barrier. But chase your dreams, the railings don't mean anything. Good job, you did it, good job, you did it. Good job, Jesus. You good job, you did it. 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 Good job. I'm gonna be here a while. That's it. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, it's absolutely worth it. Just a light breeze of bump scosity in here at the moment, not bad. I personally enjoy a bit more bump scosity, but at this amount, it's absolutely reasonable. Okay, we'll, we'll need to increase the bump scosity. So that's bump scosity 12. We'll put it on 50 next time, and we'll see how he reacts to that. We got a thousand bump scosity before. He kind of panics if there's a thousand. When it's Stanley too much. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, we gotta go back. Uh, we still have to do the two mind control either. facility enemies. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, so run through here. Okay, our common new age music again. Now. Blah blah blah. Dark oh, secrets. Never mind. The keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Thanks, Mr. Narrator. Appreciate it. <laughs> it's like, okay, you've do, you've done this a few times already. Imagine it's your first time playing, and that's like what you experience. Like Stanley just walked the straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Yeah, Control yeah, we all know facility. what happened there. Maybe we can get the speedrun ending. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place go. hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Let's go quick. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. I've got Stanley's good job, you've made it to the bottom of the, the mind control so facility stuck in my head now. <laughs> images on a screen, and Stanley 
one of them eternally monitored in this Good job. place. You did it. Freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Gotta go. No. Speed run. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the okay, operation. Run on through. We'll do, we'll do no first, and then we'll, do the, we'll go back and do Happy yes. Or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this. Sorry, we'll do, we'll do on first. And as the cold reality of his past turn it began off. to sink in. Stanley decided that this machine... Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Uh-oh. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, there's no have silly to do birds much this time. Me. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without Five. proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are said is to explode. Is there anything else I can press? the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Oh, mm, let's say um, one, two minutes. Two. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story. Come now. on, Stanley. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in That's mind. That's four. What a shame we have so little Where's time three? left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you. About me, Three. where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. Four. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and I then didn't do anything. Alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside. <laughs> oh no, inside, there's anything I can do. I burn to a crisp. I have to say this though, this version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up it's with on the next and go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. Oh, but I'm okay, I, I need so to press much. four first. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Okay, he's giving us extra oh, time. Me. What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button. I, I pressed screen, yellow on the floor. <laughs> every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything. Something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Wait, I did something. Five. It says Stanley. five green. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's I don't a know if I'm making progress, that though. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. 
It's a tragedy. There's three attempts remaining. What does that mean? World, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Uh, Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. I don't think there's no much I can do. <laughs> just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe uh, me, Times Square is looking a bit wild your this year. Life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever. Happy New Year! <laughs> I don't think it went well. Okay, uh, so the narrator kind of snaps. I story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? Okay, I, I need to... I need to just turn it off, like, normally. For an ending still. I still need to get the speed when run. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Okay, zoom Yet across there. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his coming okay, to a staircase. Normal end in Stanley this time. walked upstairs to his boss's office. Zooming. Here's the door. Just go. Thank you. <laughs> He's not even trying anymore. <laughs> Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control. Go as quick facility. as we can and turn it off. Finally, get to see how the, the game is supposed to end. on an enormous end. room packed with television screens. It's been a while, this hasn't what it? What horrible secret did this place it's hold? Like five hours Stanley into it. To himself, did he have the strength to find out? Zoom. See if we can like get the the true ending and uh, speed run it. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals Open the gate. The images Open the screen. gate. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. I mean, Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been there. manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused you have to, to grab a bucket it. to get new he endings. I haven't done this it. ending. His own I've brought the bucket here already. Someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was Zoom. the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his <laughs> just past gonna began smash to the in, I've no time. Stanley decided. We did it. Stream ends. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. We did it. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. 
for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. He made it out. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Time! Oh no, we only got achievement unlocked, beat the game. We didn't get the speed run. Game has been beaten, though. We did something right. It's an RPG, no. Oh, this is different. It's just, it's just straight to the two doors. Uh, the bucket's here, too. Let's take the bucket. Stanley cradled the bucket in a gentle embrace. Protective, yet delicate. Assertive, yet compact. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door. On oh, wait, sorry. Is there anything more this way? Oh, have I already ballsed it? Is this the speed run? Still no one was here. Oh, uh, no, I, can I still make it? Comfort now more than ever. Brett? If I if I begin it again, can I make it? Let me just see. No. <laughs> Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? Okay, if we he get that one again. Was. He hoped very much that it was. If we get that one again, then like you just have to like all tell me just to go. Uh and we just like kinda go as fast as possible. Go left and out of the office. Is there one more on the left? There is. There's two more on the left. Be back out of the office before the doors close. Oh, okay. Let's try that. We'll go bucketless and then we'll bring the bucket. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his- Zoom Coming ahead. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. So it was like... No, this, this, this one you can just kind of toggle. There was never anything in the bathroom, was there? Nothing really. There, there was a Stan- there's a Stanley figure. I think that was the main thing. Okay, so here I gotta so walk in and out, is it? Here's the door. Okay. This is open again. Now you have to go all the way back. Okay. Let's let's try this. Yeah, this is open again. Oh, we can spend time in the broom closet uninterrupted. There's no one gonna stop us now. So we're just walking back through, yeah. This one's just closed. I can grab the bucket at this point. Ah, Stanley's bucket. The only co-worker he would ever truly need. Oh, this door's open.
You are now leaving. Escape pod bay, floor 760. Oh, the lift's broken. <laughs> we just walk it out of the game. Oh, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> this is gonna take a little while to get up. Yeah, let's start climbing. The narrator just came back to say, it's like, hey, good job in the bucket, and then he left again, which is a bit weird. I feel like I'm out of bounds. 7.59. Escape pod launch bay. Escape. Can't see. Oh, there's something. We letting the bucket escape. <laughs> no. We're sending him off. Leave this terrible video game bucket. Be free. He's gone. <laughs> Even now, Stanley's office was a distant well, I, I need to do it without the bucket like. now, don't I? It was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? He could no longer recall. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Wait, the bucket was gone, was it? Was it not there? Yet there was not a single person here. Oh no, what do we do with the air then? That means we, we can't get some of the endings. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's coming to a staircase. He said it free. Walked upstairs to his boss's oh office. no. Here's the door. You won't see anything new doing this ending without the bucket. Are we just gonna go back to the escape pod? Uh, presumably, like, will we get in it or something? I might have did something like that. We got, we got to see still. We're gonna try do every ending. Oh my god! It is gone. <laughs> oh. He set him free. Hey, we're, we're coming after you, Bucket. We'll find you out there. Don't know where he's gone. God. Okay, I, I I assume this is the last end on the left then. I feel like we've got all of them. I can't think of any other situation where there was for an ending. I'm surprised this is even an ending, I'll be honest. It seems a bit long-winded.
Okay, here's the pod. We're going after him. Oh, that, that was significantly more disappointing. I gotta run. The bucket's back. And try not to lose. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to, to his this chest one. and entered the door on his left. Still, no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. I need the bucket. Perhaps his boss's office. Coming to a staircase. Stanley run, and the bucket speed run. We have to get the achievement. The office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. You can't do was the speed run with the bucket. Ah, oh, bollocks. Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. This is certainly the most logical But it's okay, we can see the silly birds again. I couldn't help it. I I saw the bucket and I just had to take it. Stanley and the bucket we do get straight silly birds through though. the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. Jump off, we did that one already. We did that with the bucket uh, last stream. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Okay, well, we get to see Was the silly the birds. Under the mind That's control facilities influences People are telling me to wait the here. Is been told else? to do things it didn't wish to do. What kinds of things does a bucket We're not going to get the speed run anyway, apparently. Do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Okay, let's just sit tight. Oh, someone got fired. Uh Am I supposed to be looking for something? <laughs> oh. This is open now. I can go back. Mode engage secrets room 2014. William hides the best secrets. There is no turning back. Never give up on your dreams. Secret of the year every year. <laughs> Can't go back anymore. It's incredible. Wait, if I fall down here now with this, uh, playing, will it keep playing, like, during the entire scene? But just as Stanley was about to proceed... Oh, no, it doesn't. ...in the mind-control <laughs> facility, he tripped and fell over the railing and into the dark void below. Thankfully, he fell directly onto the bucket, which safely cushioned his fall. Now, what to do next, Stanley wondered. 
Stanley and the Bucket could find no way out of this enormous pit, and so eventually they decided that the best thing to do would be to simply get comfortable down well, there. Well, we, we, we've seen this one before. So they set up a little couch This and is relaxed. where the, buck, the relationship really with the Bucket breaks simple. down. We, we, can, we can just restart it from here. The music style. I don't think there's going to be anything new here, so just begin the game again. Go, go! Go, go, don't when bring the Stanley bucket. When came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Speed. Okay, uh, Yet what engine do I need to get? Is it just turn it either. off or on? Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his... Coming to a staircase, Stanley oh, walked okay. upstairs to his boss's office. We're going. Thank you, Mr. Narrator. Here's the door, just go. Speed run achievement is necessary. Time loss. How is there a time loss? All we can do is walk. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I'm going as fast as I can. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Press sprint. There's no sprint button. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. There's a skip Each here to go the faster. Of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so clip many out of individuals bounds. reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. I'm going as fast as I can. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Go, Stanley! Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? You're not on world was it even possible? Pace. I'm doing had my he best. Truly spent his entire life Utterly blind what does the speed run of this world? game even look like? Is it like all endings? Here was the proof. The heart of the it must be frustrating because you wouldn't even get to listen to the narrator. Emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley dis. There we go. There is actually a strat here. You walk on the fence and jump on the catwalk as it raises. Really? Is that necessary for the uh, achievement? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. No, okay. <laughs> Was it over? Seems excessive. Yes. Like, well, you didn't he wave, Dash. You're not going to make he it. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Go on quickly, yet, Mr. Narrator. Even as the I'm on the clock. door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, quickly he open the none door of this to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. That's great. Can I live yeah, a fast life, please? It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open Quickly! Door. Stanley felt Achievement the unlocked speedrun. We got it. His we got it. The feeling of liberation. It came up on my end. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant we're to good. happen. We're good. And Stanley 
was happy. So now we only need the test achievement to play it for an entire Tuesday and then don't play it for 10 years. I, I, I mean, I, I don't know about the test achievement. I don't know what that means. I don't think that's possible to get. 10 years is gonna take a while and we have to wait till next week for Tuesday to like play it for the entire duration. Okay, uh, before we do anything else, I know I have to restart the game. We're gonna do end, uh, like, pats on the right first. We're gonna see what we can see there, okay? A soft wind blew outside and perhaps Go this rain way. started. And if it did, it stopped I think we've done after. everything on the left now, Stanley haven't we? that he would one day see weather. Do we go without wit or without the bucket? I did phone with the bucket, didn't I? I didn't do phone without the bucket, so let's try that. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. We did everything in down here. JF, thank you for the thousand bits. Really love all your recent streams. I really enjoyed Stanley Parable streams. I'm definitely going to pick up the game because it's been so much fun to watch. Thank you for making such brilliant content. Hey, thank you very much. Glad you've been enjoying it. Yeah, thank you to everyone that's been subbing as ever, too. Thanks to you for giving bits. I hope everyone's enjoying it, like, seeing this game through. I really do love this. I, I, I'm going to be sad that, like, th Stanley like this is it so for a while with it. Directions. It's, incredible. it's been fun with the new content. Okay, oh, we, we did the vent with the bucket before. We didn't just go in without, did we? Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun so far off the beaten path. Is there anything that else in here? The office had begun so far off the beaten path. Okay, he's struggling. That it seemed the office had begun so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun so far off the beaten path. That it seemed. Let's just stop him there. You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording. <laughs> it was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. <sighs> Now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. Oh, I'm sorry. He just resets it. He's just frustrated. It's like, well, this is a pretty disappointing all of his ending. Were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Leave the Perhaps bucket. I'm, the bucket is memory. back. I'm not sure if I should be relieved or sad about that. We wanted to him to escape. We wanted to him to have a life bucket. outside this, was this not game. The correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it It's a replacement well. bucket. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, we're going on back. We haven't done the phone up here. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. We did both ways of the walkway. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten go off way. on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. We also jumped to our death. investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. 
Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for... This is it, Stanley. For your her. chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Let me go. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. We haven't done this. Let's see. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Oh, we're going to meet our wife. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Oh, come no. inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Uh oh. Good morning, employee 427. Press F on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Please press B. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Please press F. <laughs> but in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Oh, no. Well, press G to watch TV. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day... But the TV work, disappeared. He stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Press M to spend time with the boys. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Please press G to prepare dinner. As he wandered through this... Oh, no! World, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called we don't it like the, game the, with the baby. Stanley Parable. Press G to tell your kids a story. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Please press you to tell your wife you love her. But there is no answer. No! How could that possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Please press G to go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. But that's me doing what he says. I gotta push it. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every <laughs> second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? 
How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Please press Q to question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Please Stanley die. Button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. I don't know how they can end it well for Stanley. Uh, Be Beach, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you very much. Jesus. It's like, please die. Hey, thanks for the subs. <laughs> Well, that was unfortunate. Ah, quite a pleasant amount oh. of bumpscosity we've got today, wouldn't you say? Very enjoyable. Okay, he's pleased by this level. That was 50, so that's an average amount. 76. We'll bump it up each time. Okay, people are saying I can unplug the phone. We'll go back that way again. Do it without the bucket first. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to Fire, stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. What was it about? I do a like how with that last ending, Stanley took the first open door on his left. With that last ending, because we had the tape recorder ending, where the narrator was saying like it would be so boring if it was all in his imagination. But then they gave us an imagination ending that actually wasn't that boring. It was just, like, kind of sad. It actually had impact. Like, they, they basically made fun of the ending they actually had. But, like, they did it a bit better. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've go gotten here off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for... This is it, Stanley. Your chance okay. to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the- Oh, no, 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 you can't. <laughs> did you just unplug the phone? Now, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? You're playing the game None wrong, of these decisions Stanley. were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> oh. I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. The severity of the situation. Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. What? It's the best <laughs> part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. 
For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. What? Which choice <laughs> would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice do that does not to conform read? to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. That doesn't sound good. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best <laughs> part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. Okay, a bit too real there. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate <laughs> as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision-making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Okay, that, that room is struggling. We can hop back on here. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. That's unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, everything's gated. I can't just like throw myself off the edge. What's that say? Do not lie if you're alliance right now. Stop. Employee Almost lounge. there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Okay, hop on back. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Can I just go this way anyway? No! Why did you do that? Oh, Quickly, no. Hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. <laughs> oh, it's getting real bad. Seems to be okay. Oh, it's <laughs> ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage, it, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know if you can salvage this. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Oh. Oh, 
we're, we're still here. It's not looking too good. I'm, I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. Oh, what, no. did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Oh, my God. Oh, my story... If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make... ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always oh. putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Gotta go this way again. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always oh, putting no, the story Oh no, we're stuck in a first. loop. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. We're going right. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Behave exactly as Stanley I don't would. think we can go always right. Choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors... He entered the door on his left. Does that one open? That one doesn't open. I don't... <laughs> is, is there any point in going right again? <laughs> no! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Behave exactly as I standard. have to go left. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right, let's go. I can't wait to experience this story. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Is it just continuing from here? Room class is locked. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked <laughs> upstairs up. to his boss's office. The office is a bit different. Can I... Stepping inside his no. manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. Until he saw the door with a voice this receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. <laughs> was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up. But now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath, and then spoke the code. I don't know if this is gonna work. Uh, Night Shark one one five. Night Shark one <clears throat> one five. Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark one one five. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. <laughs> I don't think this has the technology to read it. Oh, I'm hear sorry, me. is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. You gotta yell it? 
Okay, to start fine, screaming you're at the not receiver. Do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, <laughs> only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell I you wanted I tried that, actually. There. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... Oh. Uh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Uh, Stanley? Disconnect it. Uh... Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. The end. I need you to walk through the door. Are Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Can you hear me? Is everything alright? Uh... Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. Oh, no. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. Oh, Need the narrator! Time to, time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. He's so sad. It's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. He just wants Take you to engage with his story. Know. That's all. He just wants to have fun. Hey, we got the break the game ending. <laughs> now we got to do it with the bucket. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Take but this. Is Stanley without the bucket really Stanley at all? No. No, surely not. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it uh, was. Let's go. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Confusion ended with the bucket. We've Never done that. mind. The bucket was wrong. I think we've done both versions. Stanley of that took ended. the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Gotta get the phone. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. There is... Oh, there was the bucket destroyer before as well. I'm wondering if we can do the bucket destroyer in here, and actually put the bucket, the bucket in. Go we into do this that dark before. room over here. Stanley I don't know how we again, get that again. Obeyed blindly. Oh, you can't. Oh, okay. So the bucket destroyer is simply dead. <laughs> okay. Now pick up the phone. There we go. <laughs> oh, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do oh, things. Oh, no, I've seen buckets this. Buckets can't ended. talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. A talking bucket. Ugh. Can't you see? I'm... Oh, goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? Oh, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it, but there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully... Oh, wait, yes, there is. Um, it's sitting right here. Let's take a look. What oh. is comedic oh, timing? Oh, not another film. What is comedic timing? How does it work? How long should it last? 
How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? And more importantly, can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. Let's dive deeper. Oh, God. If you've ever told a joke I or could made use someone this laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperature with is one important. of your arms raised straight upward at a 15 degree angle from your body. These are the optimal conditions for good comedic <laughs> timing. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Next, provide a brief synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh, and then spell out your name a second time. With these steps complete, it's Hi, time to I'm begin Jimmy the Jimmy Kimmel humor. laugh track. Speak the and you're entire watching joke the Jimmy no Kimmel show laugh track and no less than 13 and a half. Pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. When the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. <laughs> Let's practice screaming, I'm Dunny with the funny now. I'm, I'm Dunny with the funny. Good. This saying is a perfect example of expectations management which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. Collecting hard data from your audience on how rapt they were throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question reprinted several times. Just to ensure the survey taker is actually oh paying God. attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember the animation that from the latest season of The Simpsons point, has really you gone down. Busting you know. little scamp. After all, with each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight the 12 legged invader who threaten our very existence and to very likely die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles. All of us must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause, just as our children must do after us, and their children after them. Godspeed, and may Earth reign supreme! What was that? <laughs> is this related to Morbius again? This video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, no matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again, so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Come along, let's head back. Okay, let's give this a go. From the top. We got a bucket this time. I can feel it. This time, I'm really going to nail the delivery. You'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say? How ridiculous. How absurd. What a hilarious concept. The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we have the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now? Be lost, right? Well, I wouldn't be the king of this comedy, that's for sure. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to overthink things. Okay, just get ready, Naredia. Get into character. You're gonna be fine. Don't forget to say I'm Dunny with the funny. He's really... He must be nervous. He's not even saying anything right now. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. I can still go right. Is that... That's just the void. Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No, 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 what's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. 
And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. What an egregious mistake. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of King of Comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke-telling whelp. I think... I think I need to go back and rewatch that instructional video again. Yes, surely that will help me improve my... Oh! Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Should I go right again? He was the comedy king back in college. Yeah, he might be doubting his comedic talent, but it's okay, because if comedy doesn't work out for him, he can build a fruitful career on Twitch.tv. I think he'll be alright. It worked for me. <laughs> this is just the phone again. <laughs> well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No, no, no. Okay, you can't go that way. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Let's go this way. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the phone. <laughs> Did you not even look at the instructional video? I think this is all covered very clearly. You told me There's to go no left. way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. The joke is completely down and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. Gonna I'm go going up. to be ridiculed oh, in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? Oh. Uh. Stanley, you love the bucket so much, it's like you, um, it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Well, let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. No? Still not? It, is it the delivery? Pale with shame. Pale oh, with Jesus. Shame. Pale... Can I throw myself bucket? off the edge? Stanley, this bucket is so metal. I think I saw it playing guitar. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. We're getting away from making fun of Stanley's obsession with the bucket, which was the whole point of this. I'm just, I'm no good at these jokes. I need more instructional videos. That's exactly what it is. That's what will make me the king of comedy again. More instructional videos. Let's see. Let's see. Get me out of here. Thank you. Okay, we've done the speed run already. We don't need to worry about that anymore. It has now been two hours since he told us to wait two hours and then yell at you about restarting the game. So reset the game. Okay, there might be one or two more to the right though is what I'm thinking. Actually, is there any more on the right? We did the phone. We did the phone bolt ways. We did unplug the phone bolt ways. We did the, put off the scaffold. We did that platform, didn't we? Is there anything else on the right? Because I, I think we're almost there. The baby. Oh, I'm not. I'm not doing the baby ending. No, that that seemed like hell. How long do you have to do the baby for? Four hours. Yeah, I'm not doing that. No. <laughs> I'm not. There's no way. That's absolutely not worth it. Is it actually four hours? Stanley Powerball, baby ending. Oh my god, it is. This poor man has a four-hour video. <laughs> Just watch the ending. There's a video here from eight years ago that will show it. <laughs> do, I, do I just play that instead? Alright, so... 
Okay, hang on. Let's get this up. I, I don't have the patience for this ending. Hang on. God, I've got a prototype of the new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot okay. it up. This is from the original game. I imagine this is going to be the same. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. Is there actually the four hours of this? Will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only effective. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Yeah, he said play it for four hours. Let's just see what he says. Good to see that enthusiasm. Keep it up, Stanley. Just three hours and 45 oh minutes my left to go. God. Okay, so clearly you're in it for the long haul. Although I find it hard not to believe you're simply running a program to click the button over and over automatically, which kind of ruins the point of the <laughs> game, don't you think? Wouldn't that take the art out of I it? You can auto tell me in your post-playtest analysis. Just popping in to say hi. I hope you weren't expecting more regular intervals of commentary from me, but that's not why you're here, is it? You're here for the game, for the art. Why would you do this? the spiraling sense of pointlessness and despair. Yes, this is what drives your every action. Keep clicking that button for hope, for freedom, for science, for love. Don't ever, ever stop. Do the baby end on the 24 hours Tuesday stream. <laughs> you know, I've been spending the last two hours here embroiled in thought, and it's occurred to me this game is incomplete. It's missing something. It still doesn't have that oomph. What is it, I thought to myself. What could possibly be missing from this incredible experience? And then in a moment of rapture, as though delivered by angels, it came to me. Before this moment, I was blind. But those days are behind us. I now understand the true <laughs> manifestation of this game. It needs a puppy. That's right. This puppy is being lowered toward an aquarium filled with nothing but piranha. Now, you have to click the second button to avert the puppy's death in addition to the baby's. This is it, Stanley. Art. I did it. Oh Video games are art. God. Ugh. But you have a good two hours or so to go, so I'll, I'll just let you get to that. No time to waste when there is such a meaningful game <laughs> to be played. You have to save bon them both. chance, mon ami. Ah, good to see both the puppy and the baby are still alive. <laughs> It warms my heart to see how deeply the message of this game has resonated with you. I can only imagine the joy welling up in your chest. The sheer joy of oh, such pure, no. distilled life essence flowing through your veins. Poor it's dog. Amazing. I'm I don't care about the baby. I am. No, seriously. I'm deeply envious of your position at Why this would you do this? moment. I, I, even as someone who loves this game, I, I would not put myself through this. This does not seem worth it. Ah, the joy of artistic expression must be even stronger now. Drink it in, Stanley. Few people on this planet will ever get such an experience. Peer through space and time. The universe unravels itself at your feet. This is the one true meaning of life. I think he set up like a command or something, so it's like perfect movement now. I know we said now. this would go on for four hours, but what if you never stopped? Think about it. You could just keep going forever. Visitors would come from around the world to see the man who never stopped pushing the buttons. You would be famous. That's what you've always wanted, right? To be famous? That and the surging power of artistic beauty to flow through <laughs> oh you for God, all of so, eternity. Like, it's you so stupid. You both of these things. What's the point? We'll talk about it when you get there. For the cloud. Have we really been doing this for over three and a half hours? Goodness, how time flies. Wouldn't you say it's flown? Oh, no, you, you don't have to answer that. I understand you're quite you busy. still got just, another just half hour of this. Almost there. I'd lose my mind. Oh. The room is just yeah, starting yes, to shake. Danny. Art itself is about to burrow into your skull. Aren't you excited for spiritual immortality? For transcendence and oneness with the beauty and essence of all beings? 
just a few seconds now, here it comes. What? <laughs> Fear me, mortal. I am the essence of divine art. Is, but you cannot read this text. What? Know that when you die, I personally carry your spirit across over somewhere into my garden built within the emotions of a flower. There we will live together. We will dance and eat and sin. You will do improv comedy based on suggestions from me for all eternity. It's different in the deluxe version I saw a streamer do it. Oh, God. What, what is... What's... <laughs> I don't want to do it. This is your reward for your work here today. Now, live your normal human existence. Wait for me in the life that follows this one. I love you. What's with the black box? It's a bug. It's just a glitch, right? Oh, cause why? The, like, so few people actually experienced this ending that like no one reported it. It's ours. <laughs> Incredible. Okay. Uh, Stanley Parable Baby Ending Deluxe. There's someone, there's someone who's uploaded, like, a video of all endings of the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, right? It's six hours long, and I think the only reason it's six hours long is because four of those hours have been spent unlocking the baby ending. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no, it's not! It's not! Okay, right, it actually seems to be here. There we go. Okay, let's let's have a look at this. Hang on. I gotta be careful here, because this is like an all endings compilation. I don't I don't wanna get spoiled here. I just wanna see if there's any difference. Okay. Oh, they just patched the block, the, the, the black box out. Is that the, is that the main difference? That's it. I kind of missed the box. Yeah, okay, so it's pretty much the same. <laughs> they just patched it. That's kind of funny. That was the original, that wasn't it? That was the wrong one. I, am I gonna have to do this fucking ending because we can't find the right version of it? <laughs> I can't even find it. Ultra Deluxe Baby. Okay, 12 days ago. Let's have a look. Go into your skull. Aren't you excited for this? Oh, 
Oh. I, oh, that's that's the guy who recorded. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> he, he sounded pretty relieved. <laughs> Is it any different? No, it's the same. It's the same. <laughs> okay. Well, congrats to that man. He had to work hard for that end. The bucket version. There's not a bucket version of that because you can't get to that area with the bucket. You have to destroy the bucket. Uh, you get to the is this a bucket game instead if you go that path. So there's no bucket, baby. Okay. Um, what else is there? Have we done every pat on the right now? Is it just reset now? There's a secret in the quiz show ending, is there? Is there a different ending to the quiz show? Window ending, we did that. Do we need to step off the cargo lift? No, we did that. Climb over the desk? Yep, we did that. Bottom of the mind control facility? Yep, we got the song and we spent life with the bucket. You can go through the red door. No, we did that one. Um, we just cut that one from the highlights because it was a bit upsetting. That one was just a bit too sad. Not a fun ending. I think that's everything. Disco ending? I, was the disco ending the Easter egg in like the mind control room with all the text? German985 makes a great cameo if you leave the game running for 985 hours. I somehow doubt that. <laughs> I don't think that's an ending. Okay, is it just reset? I think it might just be reset. Unless there's like, there's an Easter egg in the, is this a As bucket Stanley ending? Let's bucket. get that. He felt a connection and then we're going to reset bucket. it. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling the him cheats that ended. the How do I activate cheats? was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Is the like console no, open? Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the Don't meeting cheats, room. No. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Good. Rocket League, we did that. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not okay, to so think about this. Okay, there's an Easter egg fact. in the. Is he was this firmly a bucket convinced quiz? that the bucket had spoken to him, this and way. he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Gotta hop off over no, here. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets pass this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. 
So much of the impact of the story yeah, we gotta, we gotta see what the Easter egg is here. Of what is and isn't a bucket. Please step in here for a moment. We've seen this one already, but apparently there is something different in it. Um, so we're gonna have a quick look. Here's is this a bucket? Now then, I'm going to run you through some test scenarios, and you'll tell me whether or not the thing out. I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Item one, is this a bucket? This was not a bucket. Correct. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. We've done this one before, Item but apparently two. there is something more. Is this a bucket? No. Correct. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. This might take a little while. Item There's three. two Rocket League, is, is there? Is this a bucket? What do you have to do for another Rocket League ending? Correct. This is a bucket. Just not fall. Item four. Is this a bucket? Don't jump in the goal. Oh, okay. Uh, we can try that one then. What? Are you hallucinating? Oh no! Is sorry. Yeah, that one actually is it's a tractor. The, the next the tractor earth. is the I bucket. This was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. Let's just move on to the next one. If you missed the first stream, you're probably very confused as to what's happening here. <laughs> We're just like glossing Is over this it. A bucket? Yeah, sure thing. Yeah. Correct. This is a bucket. Item six. Is this a bucket? No. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. Oh my God. Item. It's... Wait, hold on. I can't find the. I'm next being told one. I need to look this behind be me. Around here somewhere. There's something. It's not a bucket. Yes. Thank you. There's nothing here. Of course it isn't a bucket. We both know full well that nothing isn't a bucket. Wait, when I say nothing isn't a bucket, that makes it sound like I'm saying everything so is a bucket. So what am I looking for here? Is not true, unless... Is that what you think? Answer me straight, Stanley. Are you trying to tell me that you believe everything is a bucket? Reflection on the floor. I don't get it. I just see lights. I don't I I don't get it. I see the reflection of the text there. Oh, the fear. Okay, right. <laughs> okay. Well, that's terribly immature. <laughs> How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? What new mysteries lay in store for our bucket-loving heroes today? Let's find <laughs> out. That was that. Stanley <laughs> Why did they do the that? Tightly to his chin. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. 
telling him that the that was not the Easter egg I was talking about. No, nope, too late now. Be. And no. it was. <laughs> had the bucket turned out to be correct, was no. Never We're not mind. doing it again. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Okay, people are saying go this to the well. cargo. Oh, well, look who's got cold feet. Well, from here, it looks like the only way forward is down, since the lift won't be coming back, but that's okay. You've got a bucket. Did you know that buckets are routinely used as cushioning devices? It's true. You can fall on a bucket from literally any height and survive. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Whoops. Looks like I was wrong. How <laughs> clumsy of me. That's a bit of a blunder. Ah, oh, God. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna reset it. Let me back out of the game. Quit the desktop. Let's see. If we have to restart the game of uh, uh, like to be able to talk to this guy. Is this even the narrator? Like this is just the game devs at this point. This slider's back for brightness. Please adjust the slider until the dog and cat are free. <laughs> Confirm. Please adjust the slider until the number five becomes a number nine. Mm -hmm. I mean, that could. Okay, there is there is a more solid nut. No. <laughs> yeah, there's a few ways you could go here. This seems to be the most solid path. Please adjust the slider until you stop adjusting the slider. Which of the two made-up words below is most appealing to you? Acuboinko? Or scrumtush? Scrumtush sounds terribly inappropriate, so we're gonna go Acuboinko. <laughs> you know what time it is right now? Yes. Is the time that it is right now the correct time? Yes. What is time anyway? Yes. Is there anything more about yourself that you haven't told me? <laughs> uh No, you know my life story. We're pretty well acquainted. Help. Okay. Will you come back to visit me? Uh, if this is the game speaking in ten years from now, after I play it for an entire Tuesday soon. Let's just start it again. Reset it again, okay. Alright. Unable to sync with the steam cloud! Should be fine. What time is it? Does anyone really truly know? Of course they don't. Nobody knows anything. 
You and I don't even know each other. We're like strangers. Sure, I've adjusted all of the game's settings to your exact specifications, but who hasn't? It's just what I do, like a day job. And now the job is over. There's no more information for me to gather. I've collected all of the data on you that I can. And I still don't really know you. And you don't know me. And neither of us know what time it is. I guess some settings are just unsettable. But if I'm being totally honest, the clock doesn't do anything in the game anyway. You won't have me here when the game starts next time, but that's okay. Galdwin, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you very much. Video games were meant to be played alone. You like being alone, don't you? Oh, Jesus, you're hammering home the existential dread a little too much here. It's maybe the only information I really learned about you. It's time for me to leave. There is still one more set and that we need to adjust, but it may take a little time before I'm ready for that. It's not really in my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again if you can find me. Talk soon. Epilogue. Is this as much of an ending as we're gonna get? This is something. Wait! You might need some extra bump scarcity. Okay, epilogue. Many, many years later. It's like 10 years of not playing the game. Oh god, we're back here! Towards the sun? What's happening? Shouldn't have set the bump the bump scarcity so high. So wasteland. The Minecraft soundtrack has never sounded better. What does this mean? Certain. A travel and fair. Oh, that's what's left of the memory zone house. There's something over here, though. The narrator is gone. Bucket is safe. Property of Stanley. <laughs> we saved him. Okay, let's head back over here. This is where he went. We sent him to like the end of time, did we? This is what becomes of the game in the long summer time. It all returns to dust. 
Stanley Parable 2. Oh god, the house seems a bit distorted. What's this? Cookie Nine's blog. Uncompromising gaming content. Review the Stanley Parable 2. Like so many, I enjoyed my time with the original Stanley Parable, which underscores how truly disappointed I am with its sequel. Where the first game teamed with originality, the Stanley Parable 2 is a dull, uninspired, and often insulting to its fan base. Rather than expand what made the first game enjoyable, the sequel veers off into, t into territory nobody asked for. An infinitely deep hole, who cares? Where are the new endings? What about enjoyable bits from the Stanley Parable 1, like the adventure line? Instead we get an uninspired side quest collecting figurines. Even this diversion feels incomplete. Collecting all the figurines gives you nothing. I must say though, I found the bucket to be quite comforting. Recent comments. Review to Stanley Parable 2. Sorry I haven't been blogging too much. Review. SNRAF3. In Cookie's Corner, we need to talk about sequels. What's this? Cat dog born. Scientists confirm hybrid species. Is that because we adjusted the slider too much? Uh oh. Stanley Parable developers, no more spin-offs, no more sequels. Jim, Jim, Jim. Awesome Jim buttons survived! Jim, 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 Jim. Uh, by Snip Sweamy. When the Stanley Parable launched a massive success in 2013, its creators made plans to build the property into an entire franchise. But disastrous critical and commercial reception to the Stanley Parable 2 has prompted the developers to rethink their ambitions, as outlined in a press release they published today. It's clear that more Stanley Parable is just not what the fans want, reads the press release. We thought we had the vision for the series that players would be excited about, yet it turns out this could not have been further from the truth. The press release goes on to promise to preserve the artistic integrity of the original game, and to stop assaulting fans with our reckless and insulting creative visions. The word sorry appears more than 25 times in the press release. Real web. Jim, Jim, Jim. A lot of Jim buttons survived. Jim, Jim, Jim. <laughs> don't know if there's any that don't say Jim that made it. Jim, Stanley. Oh! They made one other button. <laughs> the figures! <laughs> There's just a lot of these ones here. That was more than six. Oh god, it's getting very dark. Thank you for enjoying the new content. There's a computer here. Hello again. It's nice to see you. But it's terrible to learn that it will never be another Stanley Parable game. Did you read what the developer said? Preserve the integrity of the franchise. What nonsense. The Stanley Parable is not sacred. We do not need to protect it. 
Screw the legacy. Let's keep making Stanley Parable games until the sun explodes. <laughs> Let's run this franchise into the ground. Let's drag it through the mud and back. And if people hate it, who cares? You see, that was the narrator's problem. He was so obsessed with what people thought of his work. Don't make his mistake. Don't cling to the legacy. Let it burn. It's not hard. In fact, let me show you. Together we are going to make the Stanley Parable 3. <laughs> It's simple. All we have to do is change the number in the game's title screen. We also need a really dumb subtitle for the game. Something loud and gaudy. Go ahead, try combining some random words together to make a new title for our game. <laughs> Wait, what? The Stanley Parable 3. <laughs> Hidden gun. No, it had it gun. So do we want Saturday Night Gun? Stanley's big computer virus doesn't. I, I, I don't know if I like that one. Stanley's big square. Stanley's big monkeys. <laughs> I like now what add it gun. <laughs> That's, that's, the, that's the change we need. Stanley Parable would be a much better experience if I had a handgun. Stanley Parable 3, now it added gun. It's absurd, I love it. Every time you restart the game, we'll advance the number of the sequel by one, and then we'll pick a new subtitle. <laughs> that way, the Stanley Parable will never end. Nothing in the game itself will change when you do this, either. Add more content sounds like work. No need to do that. It'll just be the same content recycled again and again and again with a new title screen. <laughs> what do you say? Should we go forward with this plan? I like it, but I want you to have a say as well. Let's do it. Good, then it's agreed. A new sequel every time you start the game. And you know what? Since you put my f fate in my idea, I feel like giving you something as well. You see, I'm noticing that the narrator never found a way to give you the broken achievement, did he? Of course not. I wouldn't expect him to know how. It's been bothering me. Let's fix it. Alright, there. The achievement machine is all fixed. You see, I'm on your side. We're in this together. We're going to keep this train rolling. The Stanley Parable cannot end. It can only spiral in on itself forever. We must keep the wheel turning. I'm ready. Are you ready? Great. There's only one last thing we need to do. Please enter the current time. <laughs> it's currently 9.48. Please adjust the slider. Thank you. Please enjoy the Stanley Parable. <laughs> Why is there a JPEG of the car? <laughs> okay, begin the game. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh, we're back again. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427. Anything different? And pushed buttons the achievement? The, the broken achievement is fixed. A monitor on his desk, Apparently. Telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 how do I actually did get it? every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment the machine. That the came in. Oh god, am I gonna be able to get back there? I thought I was exactly locked out a lot. This job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day something very peculiar happened. Something that would Stanley. forever change Stanley. <laughs> oh, something this is gonna change him, alright. <laughs> he had been at his desk for nearly an hour. 
when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say, Stanley snapped. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All of his co-workers were okay, gone. Okay, this is all reset as before. Mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. The bucket's Perhaps still he here. Now this, Stanley thought to himself, this is a bucket. And indeed it was. New content. Yeah, it's open again. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? I mean, we've seen this before. We can go back into it. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra We've Deluxe. We've been here before. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining We have the, the bucket this time. We didn't have the computers. bucket here before. That actually the is Stanley quite a big Parable difference. Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Yeah, me too, man. Wait, Let's Stanley. Go. I've just now realized. That bucket you're holding, it's the bucket I've been working on for my sequel. How did you get your hands on it? Isn't this the preview to the sequel? How do you have the bucket already? Uh-oh. This, this makes no sense at all. Okay, so something's going to be different because he's picking Hold up on. that we've already got did it. I already show you my ideas for the sequel. I don't remember doing that at all. You're seeing things all out of order. All right, all right, let's see, it's the jump circle. I don't have any jumps, I already used them. I can't do anything there. The infinite hole, the giant door, did you see them already? Stanley, none of them are ready yet. I'm still developing them. They're not even close to finished. How did they look when you saw them? Were they captivating? Were they exciting? Did they fulfill on the promise of everything that a sequel to Stanley Parable could possibly be? Had I figured out how the hell to make a sequel to this game? It was wonderful. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Wait, if you're still carrying the bucket around with you, if the bucket is interesting to you, that means I must have made it correctly. Yes, you carrying the bucket with you everywhere is exactly what I set out to accomplish. The bucket is the exciting and captivating new content that I promised. I did it! I win! I made a sequel to the Stanley Parable! Yes, the sign is correct. Thank you for enjoying the new <laughs> content. Thank you for taking the bucket everywhere with you. Clinging tightly to the bucket, never letting it go. It means I've won. It means I am victorious over the gamers. It is a sweet That's sound a bold of claim. victory on my soul. Thank you for enjoying the new content. The bucket is the Stanley Parable now. They are one and the same. There is no Stanley Parable without the bucket. I win. 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 <laughs> Well, uh, he seems happy, at least. That's reset it already for us. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Finally, yes, the bucket. Yes, 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 I love that bucket. It's open again. Can I just go back in? Return to the Stanley Parable 2 Expo Hall. Let's go.
got to keep the bucket with us. It's just fast tracking us back now as well. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. There we go. We're back here. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. Is he gonna say anything more? Because he, he knows we has from the we have those. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. Strictly speaking, we're now on the Stanley Parable Three. This <laughs> is what fans have truly been asking for. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Okay, we're back in Here the expo are. hall. Go on, try out some of the new features. Okay, there is still a hall for the bucket, but we've already got that. Uh, I want to find the achievement one. There's a, yeah, there's the new free new and easy achievement. I want to see, because the guy at the end of the world said that that was fixed. I want to see if it actually works. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. We got it. As you can see, the machine is not working yet since... What? Wait. What in the holy hell is going on? You got the achievement? Why did the machine work? Stanley, I didn't fix it. I didn't do anything to it. I swear, it was broken just a second ago. Who fixed it? Is someone here? Are we being watched? Oh, God. Composure? Composure. Yes, as you can see, the machine is working as normal as I intended. It, um... It truly speaks to the awe-inspiring magic of the Stanley Parable 2. You mean Please. 3. Just breathe. We're being watched. There is another designer. Oh, I got the, I got the achievement. It's actually checked off. Uh, the only ones I'm missing now is to play Stanley Parable for an entire Tuesday and then don't play it for 10 years. So next week, Tuesday, I guess I'll leave my computer on and what else? What other exhibits then we'll check we back yet? in the 30s. Uh, we gotta go check the Calling the it the Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term Just wait. change the <laughs> fucking calendar. All caps. Like, sc you idiot! Get the achievement! <laughs> you have to earn this achievement. Patience is its own reward sometimes. You cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. I'm going to report you to the game developers. And they're going to revoke the achievement from your account personally. So you better back off as I'm working hard for this. Because you didn't just cheat the game, you cheated yourself. Two buckets here. <laughs> How did you get a second bucket? 
Oh no, the warmth and comfort of a single bucket is already so great, so intoxicatingly there's wonderful. There's another bucket. With two buckets, there's no telling. Stanley, can you still hear me? Are you with me? Oh God. Stanley. Oh, thank God. I didn't lose you, Stanley. The power of two buckets was too much. I had to destroy both of them. Oh, no! I know how much the bucket meant to you, but I couldn't take the risk. I hope one day you can forgive me. Oh, no! We lost the buckets! Are they gone? Well, I... <laughs> I'm kind of sad now. <laughs> We're bucketless. Can we just go get more of the figurines? We've got so many of them already. We can go back into the infinite hole. Out of order, you've been here already. <laughs> oh, okay. That's fair, yeah. Check the gym button. Yeah, the, the, the gym button might... The, the Stanley button might be there now. Then we'll go to the hole. Let's have a look. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually Jim. recognized. Sorry, I should have clarified. Oh. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to he did really fix it eventually, the full experience but... of this feature. Just play along. We're not there I promise yet. you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind... Forget whoever you are and simply become a person named Jim. Jim. Whoa, 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 hold on. I wasn't finished setting up the backstory. If you don't properly roleplay as Jim, then you'll never understand the impact of this button. Otherwise, it's just a stupid button that says somebody else's name. Okay, we're doing it again, and this time let me finish first. <clears throat> now, allow yourself to become Jim. Jim. All right, fine, whatever. <laughs> it's just a meaningless button that says Jim. Are you happy now? Get out of here. I'm done with this button. Why don't you go humiliate me in front of a different feature that I worked very hard on? Well, the bucket already exploded. See, if you'd Jim. only played along, Jim. that would have been Jim. your name Jim. the button says. Jim. But no. Jim. Instead, Jim. I can't even Jim. think about it. Jim. I'm taking the Jim, Jim. button away. Jim. 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 See you later, Jim. 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 I'm sad now. We're losing all the features. The bucket's gone. The button's gone. The figurines are gone. Maybe I'll only let people named Jim play the Stanley Parable 2. They would appreciate what I've created here. Okay. Is that it? I, I'll go in the hole. Does the other Rocket League end in- Okay, I mean, that one's quite long-winded to get there. Is that one- Like, is it worth it? Or, is, like, does anything happen if you just stay there? Or is it just, like, the game ends? But I, th I thought with that one, that's, like, that's where you have to go. You have to fall out. The game just ends. Okay. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is this the is hole. We've seen the hole before. Hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. There we go. It's hard to tell what's going to be new because we've seen all this see, before. Isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, 
Since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top and we can continue onward. Let's just keep going. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. We know it ends eventually. <laughs> okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... There we go. Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. But I am. I think the issue here is just <laughs> that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport okay, button. Okay, this seems th this seems the same. Um, what we can try do is do the epilogue again, and see if there's anything different there. If I if I restart it, let's see. There's the car. <laughs> So it should up at the Stanley Parable 4. <laughs> oh, we get new titles! The Revenge... ...of the Hole Punch. Revenge of the Paperwork, yeah, that sounds a bit too true to life. More scream. <laughs> what? So there actually is like new menus in that every time you reset it. Go into the epilogue again. See if anything happens. This looks pretty similar. I don't know if there's going to be new dialogue, though, if I talk to the guy. I could try it without the bucket this time. I don't know if having the bucket made a difference. Stanley Parable 8 has an Easter egg. Okay, we could we could try Stanley Parable Eight. Sure. Okay. Let's just keep rebooting the game just to see what it does. Stanley Parable Four was a very short game. Um, a fistful of tax disc. <laughs> this... All right, it's not what I expected. I'll be honest with you. Let's make another sequel.
Stanley Parable 6. The destruction of boyfriends. <laughs> uh, it's probably for the best we destroy him. Stanley Parable 7. Half employee, half ice cream. It, this is the same one as before, but the guy's just gone. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> He scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, don't do that, baby. All right, yeah, I don't like this one. <laughs> Actually scared me. Stanley Parable 8. Attack on tax disc. That's, that's, the, that's the hit show everyone's been talking about the last few years. Security notice this office is under 24 hour surveillance. I, is this the Easter egg? Just begin the game. Oh. Hold on. What's this? Eight. 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 <laughs> that it? The Stanley Parable Eight? No, 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 no. This eight. doesn't look right at all. The Eight. Stanley Parable takes Eight. place in an office Eight. building. There are doors Eight. and branching paths. Eight. This Eight. is just a button that says Eight. Eight. Where did the Stanley Eight. Parable go? Eight. 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 <laughs> is there anything else here? Eight. 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 There's nothing else here. I'm gonna have to change Eight. it to the Stanley Parable 9. Well, I'm looking around and I really can't find the game anywhere. No boss's office or mind control facility or any of that. Literally just this 8 button. And what's worse is that you seem to be having a better time with this <laughs> nonsense game than with the story I wrote for you. I'm actually a little insulted. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty good game. Eight. Tired to compete with a masterpiece. Eight. Eight, 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 eight. Is he going to say eight, anything else? Eight, 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 eight. Well, I don't know what happened to the Stanley Parable or what the eight button is, but apparently you're having a riveting time with it. And frankly, I don't even want to pander to someone who finds this enjoyable. So with that, I guess, just go ahead and enjoy the Stanley Parable 8. Thank you, I will. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. The fans really ate this eight, ended up. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. <laughs> Is there anything else? Is he gonna say more? I can't even get out of here. Eight. 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 The floor. What about the floor? Oh. 
There's something there. Can I do anything with this? Is that a controller? Oh no, it's a Mad Cat's controller. That's the deluxe edition controller, is it? God, it looks awful. <laughs> Why would you want this? I'm gonna press eight again. Eight. 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 Do I, do I just have to reset the game at this point? I think I do. Eight. Eight. <laughs> Just get, get, we'll, we'll, we'll skip over that version of the Stanley Parable. Stanley's big. Birthday party. <laughs> Go with that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> This is the story of a man. Okay, there's just one more Rocket League ending. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan so I'm going to race through to it. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Skip the new content. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly Zoom well. Zoom through here. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. She ended it's not in this game, apparently. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Get on the air. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust get in the bird else can be again. difficult. The bird ended with one of the best ones. The fact is the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. Okay, to we're gonna show zoom you through here. Beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Let's go. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley Let's walked go. through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Let's go. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing, because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? Get the what baby ending? No, see? I'm not willing Vehicles? to. Skill trees? Work with me. You give me gonna... absolutely nothing so far. I'm going to just lower it a mo. We, we, we've seen all this before. We've done this. We can just chat a mo. Yeah, we, we've done the baby ending. I'm just zooming to get to Rocket League, and then we're going to see what's going on there. 
Ah, oh, God. It's been really fun just kind of seeing the new content, though. I like how meta the game is just with, like... It, with, now with the added lapse of time since the original version of the game, I think it's just really cool. I, I, there's, there's a few works of fiction that kind of do it well, like, I kind of, like, in the past. Tristram Shandy will be, like, the original one that this game is probably inspired by. Um, I mean, there's just a lot of books these days that draw attention to their own fabricated nature of being a book, you know? What game is that? Uh, Tristram Shandy is, is not a game. <laughs> be a very disappointing game, I think. Did you get the end where you locked yourself in the office? Uh, yeah, I did. I I think we've gotten every end now. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. So like we're we're literally just skipping ahead. I'm gonna just let the baby die. Towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the dwelling. I've really had fun playing it though. I'm glad that we took another stream just to kind of see it some of it. It's like now I feel like we've gone through all of it. I think like even the ending where it's like you just keep making versions of it is just fantastic. The thing is that they could make like another layer to this game. In 10 years or something, we could see like the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe HD 2. 2.8 Remix Climax or some shite like that, you know? I'm not saving the baby, I'm not bothering with it. Window, we did every ending. Have you gone through the red door yet? Yes, we did every end. <laughs> it's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. The button room too. Yes, we did every end. <laughs> I don't escape pod. Yes, we did every end. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it to you. <laughs> what do you think this game is about, Stanley? Okay. Let's turn it back on, because now we're going into the other games. There we go. What's our backstory? What is our motivation? We might understand some of the references mm. here now that we've played it Firewatch. It's obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man, spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love I mean, not everything quite mental about depravity, this game, but. Stanley. And it seems there's even more. It's pretty scary. Let's venture outward and see what else is out there. What does that say? Who fire watches? Who fire watches the fire watch? <laughs> I think that's what it says. Supplies for two forks. There's the picture of Julia. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. There's a smiley here. The turtle has not made it into this version. There's Henry's coat. There's a raccoon. I don't remember a raccoon. He's out at the mo. His radio's not here. And the window hasn't been broken in yet. Trying to see if there's anything else. There's the toilet from before. Maybe we can head over oh, there. No. no, 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 it can't be. It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. No, the toilet. Oh, thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You nearly wandered off into that. That thing, that big open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions. Oh, we can't no access anything. You can just go in any. Oh, 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 thank heavens we avoided it. 
We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> okay, I think this will be just the thing. Okay, back in Rocket League. So don't Wonderful. jump into the goal. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. It's just, uh... Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Sit Let's see. tight. <laughs> there are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Yeah, so in the original Stanley Parable for this section, it's um, Minecraft and Portal, I believe, is the two uh, that they reference instead. Uh, I imagine the reason that they're not brought back is due to licensing of some kind. Because this would have been the days when Minecraft uh, was owned it? by Microsoft. Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked so there hard on? Stanley, I have a thought. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. I'm going to try it out. Here comes another ball. Okay, let's keep putting them in yes. goals. Oh goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. More balls! Oh god! Okay, we got a lot of scoring to do. Are you enjoying this, Stanley? Are you having fun? Is this a real video game? Well, I sure hope you're having a good time because guess what? It's over. What? That's right. Your little fun comes to an end. This is my game, and what I say goes. You get to have fun when I let you, Stanley. Besides, you need someone like me to set boundaries for you. Without rules or boundaries, video games are nothing. Yes, that's what I am. I am structure. I'm your sense of purpose. And since you decided you didn't want to play my game, now I don't want to play with you either. So goodbye, Stanley. I'm leaving. See how you like it when I'm not around to set the rules. Somehow, I don't think you'll enjoy it as much, but who knows? You're an inventive kid, you'll come up with something. After all, you're the one who knows best. Take care, Stanley. Well, he left. I don't... No, I don't have the balls anymore. I guess I'll just wait here. I can fall back down again. I can't get in there. You repeatedly jump in the hole? Yep. You can see the past highlights video for that. Okay, I guess that's it. Yeah, so from here, you can only just jump back in, can't you? And we've done that. Dan, do you see how it feels when somebody treats you the way you treat us? <laughs> I'm nothing but kind and benevolent to use in chat. Nothing but the nicest person. I treat you so well. Somebody ban that person. How dare you. It's 1984. <laughs> Master RT is good to us. <laughs> oh, God. 
We need more eight. Oh, that was good fun. I, I think that's it. Uh, outside of playing this game for the entire duration of a Tuesday and um, not playing it for 10 years, I I think we've done everything. It, does, he, does anything even happen if you don't... Like, is there an event in game if you don't play it for 10 years? It's like the narrator just like kind of boot up the game and it's like, I haven't seen you in a while. Stanley? We don't know yet. I guess not, yeah. I guess we don't. Yeah, okay, we'll, 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 ch we'll check back then. Assuming I'm still alive. Um, if not, I'll get my uh, successor on this channel. Um, to uh, start up my copy of the Stanley Parable. <laughs> I'll leave it in my will. RT Jr. I say, one of these days I'm gonna die. Like, I have to have a kid someday, so that when I pass on, like, my child can pick up where I left off. I'll sit them down and say, child, this is your Minecraft Let's Play now. Don't fuck it up. And I'll leave them to it. Uh, I think you'll be in the best possible care. Gilbert? Gilbert's gonna be long dead before me. Let's be real here. <laughs> you'll name your kid child. <laughs> Listen, you don't have to think about it, right? If it works for God of War, it works for me. Just boy. Child. That's the job. Child one, child two. We know that RT ends on Friday, 25th of August, 2028, due to the accident of Ireland. <laughs> well, that's a bit menacing. What happens then? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I think that's it. I think we leave it there. But thank you so much for coming to the stream, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, thank you to everyone who subbed. Thank you to everyone who gave bits. There's like a lot of hundred bits just coming in right at the end there. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, thank you to the mods, as ever, for being on hand. Um, I really enjoyed this Morbius spin-off game. I thought it really complements the movie. And I'm excited for the eventual re-re-release in like, um, 10 years from now. Oh god, no, Stanley Parable, like, it's wonderful. I, I, I think it's some, like, one of the, like, the smartest, most clever games that, that's just been made. It's genuinely very funny. Uh, it's hard to find a lot, it's hard to find games that are, like, just actually just like that. Like, it makes you laugh a lot. High level of comedy. I I, I, I hope they re-release it again. The, 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 like, why not? Like, it was, it's been, like, how many years since the last one? Eight years? I hope in another, like, eight years or something, they just do it again. They might as like, they just keep adding layers to the game. What more could they add? Like, they, they could just, they just keep layering it. That's the thing. They could keep it going. We need another follow-up to the Stanley Parable. They will add Ultra Go Outside. Like, the Go Outside achievement just ramps up to, like, 20 years. <laughs> Even 10 years is, like, kind of scary. Like, the amount of time between, like, it's gonna take to get... Between now and when I earn that achievement, it's like, so much life is gonna happen. I'll be 37 years old, I'll probably have, like, I mean, I'd like to think, I'd like to have a child by then. If I'm thinking about kids, 
you know, statistically speaking, those are the years you do it. I could be a dad by the time I earn that achievement. It's like, yeah, no shit, I went outside. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of life before we check in. Get my child to just boot up the PC. It's like, there you go. You get that achievement. <laughs> name, like, name the child Stanley, right? This is playing the long con. And then if they ever, I like, Dad, why did you, why did you name me this? It's like, well, there's a video game I got to show you, son. <laughs> that video game changed my life with one goal. I worked long and hard to achieve. Jim Lee. <laughs> Jim Stanley. Yeah, Stanley, middle name Jim. If it's twins, it's Jim and Stanley. Uh, God almighty. Okay, I'm going to leave the stream there. Thank you so much for coming tonight, folks. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, let me see who is streaming. I'm gonna leave you in someone's care. Uh, who's all going? Uh, oh, Julie's actually playing this game right now. Okay, so if you want to see some of the other endings that, like, I haven't done, uh, go say hey to Akia. She's streaming it right now. I think she's at an earlier stage of the game to me. So if you joined the stream late, or if like you didn't watch the one before that I did, uh, that could be a good way to see some more content from the game. That just makes sense. Yeah, thanks for coming, folks. I'll be back on Thursday. Uh, I think we're doing something with Dahi then. He's put something very stupid together, I think. I'll have to double check that. But I'll see you then. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for coming. Manifesto, treatise, 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 manifesto.